Hello. Hello. I'm Bentley Craig. And I'm coming to you live. From the very tip top of Crawford Mountain. And up here on the top of Crawford Mountain, I get a different perspective. And I'm starting to see different points of views. Not just not just my own, but all kinds. Now, I have talked about it before, about how you could wake up one night, one morning, rather, and your whole world could change. Now, there are little flags along the way that give me that hint that that day is coming where you wake up and it's a whole other different world well we kind of are in a whole different world it was like we woke up one day and we were in that different world you know because some people started complaining complaining about everything that a lot of us you know we probably knew but just Ignored, you know. I didn't learn that Columbus was a son of a bitch in school. I learned that later. But to be honest, I don't know who writes these history books sometimes. But you know, I knew. But, even Columbus wasn't an original idea. Columbus was nothing new. You know, and I can understand statues. Hell, they've been putting up statues in Egypt. Syria, statues everywhere, since the beginning of time, sometimes it was just a statue of rocks, or a mound of dirt. So, we know, I don't need some hateful people telling me how horrible Columbus was. I don't need to hear that. I mean, I know that. But I don't go around talking about what a wonderful guy Columbus is. I don't try to convince people of that.
So maybe those statues need to come down. Maybe they need to go somewhere special to be learned from. Here's Columbus, one of the greatest assholes ever. I'm going to pause for a moment. <clears throat> I haven't been doing a podcast because I had some uh, dental work. And my oh my, oh my. But you know, I know I might sound stupid. Well, I know I do. But that's okay. I, w- I had things to think about. And I know other people, they had the same thing I got, <clears throat> and they quit for two years. And it, it hurt me to see them go away, and maybe I'm glad I didn't have to listen to him sound as silly as me, but whatever. I hope that there are people out there that might be missing me. Maybe waiting on a tidbit of thought. That could be interesting. But where I wanted to go was that, you know, the Black Life Matters. They're not completely wrong. Okay, they're not completely wrong. They're not completely right. And even us, who get offended by those things, we know that those are horrible people. You know, Thomas Jefferson, I love him, don't get me wrong. I don't want to change anything that had to do with him. He lived in a different time. And now it's easy for me to uh, judge him by my principles. You know, I find it interesting that a human being think that it's okay to own another human being. But I also know that there's narcissistic and psychopaths and all kinds of other crazy people out there even today that control people. They might not own them, but they might just own them and you just don't know it. But there's still a lot of slavery going on out there in the world. For real life slavery right now. And can we do something about that? First... And then we can get back to Thomas Jefferson. I got the American spirit. I got the belief of God. And I believe that Jesus walked this earth. Walked on the water. Calm. The storm. So is it possible. To sit down. And come to common grounds with. Black Life Matters. And transgender I don't know you know there's a lot of stuff out there I just don't I don't care because I believe you can do whatever you want it's America whether you believe in God Jesus or whatever in America you can do whatever you want as long as you don't hurt other people usually 
and break the laws and there's a bunch of them like you don't want to get caught running a red light with some half a gram of, or a quarter gram of ice <laughs> and having a roach in your ashtray your life can be ruined over in a flash. Should that kind of person go to jail? Because sometimes that's what Black Light Matter is talking about. And that happens to everybody. Not just black lies, but all lies. You know, the prisons. You know they're owned by civilians, right? You know that. And that's okay with us. We don't care. It's because we turn a blind eye to these stupid criminals. Somebody that really has only just done this drug three or four times in their whole life and it's always on the 4th of July. And then that person gets to run a red light and got to go to jail for 10 years. Is that right? That's not right. I know guys who shot people in the face point blank and did eight. That ain't right. That ain't just. We need to sit down and discuss those kind of things. Or should we be proud of the history of our ancestors? We should we be proud that we aren't like our Thomas Jefferson? You know, those guys really would have liked to work it out with the English. Yeah, they would have. They tried, but... Taxation. Without representation. Could the English have uh, sit down and talked with Thomas Jefferson? Hey, we can work this out. We get just some votes. But nope. That's not how they roll. That's a king. You know, king does that. You know, this is America. And I believe in the American spirit. And I believe in God. I don't know if this is the end of times or the beginning of the end of the times. Or is it just in the middle somewhere and we're just doing our thing still. You know. It could be anything. But I think we ought to sit down and talk with those people. Because those are our friends. Most of them don't like me right now. I get replied as, Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? They don't even want to acknowledge me. There's people I've known for years. And I don't think I got a hateful opinion about things. But they're not wrong. They're not right. Completely. <clears throat> you know, 
And then I want to get to thinking that, you know, they're just whiny. And there's anything we can do except give and give and give and give and give and give and give. And that's happened in history. People do that. You know, I talked about the French Revolution. And, uh, you know, that was mainly about poor people. Real poor. I don't know if we got that same kind of poor now. It's something else. But heads rolled, baby, they rolled. This ain't verified, but some other cats in a... Uh... Another podcast said some couple special soldiers saw a big, big ass room full of guillotines and ended up getting killed. You know, they got out and told people. That ain't verified. I didn't look it up. And they, the guy reading it was reading it from somewhere else and he didn't verify it, but. I'd heard all that stuff back in 2008. Alex Jones. FEMA cans and body bags. You know, is that stuff real? I heard the FEMA camps were... debunked I don't know God bless America well how do we sit down and have a discussion with those people you know I believe the police needs worked out, but I also need, I believe the whole political system needs a little adjustment. You know, when uh, all these rich people got all that money from the stimulus for poor people, you know, come on. Did Phil, Dr. Phil get seven million dollars? Did he really? That ain't right. We need that on the table. You know, that dude needs to give that money back. I don't care what he said. If that's true. Well, you're listening to Circle Drive Show. And if you're putting up with my silly mouth, I appreciate it. I love you. So what can we do? Can we talk to these people and work out a deal, a compromise? You know, we get back the way things are, but, you know, please, we need to get them in check. You know, people like, oh, 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 I mean, there's, you know, it needs help. You know, I don't want a five-minute wait when I call the police. You know, policemen, they, they ain't that damn far off from being cool. But I think some of their duties need to change. Yeah. And we do need a bunch more money into our schools. All the money that we can come up with needs to go to our schools. Because there you go. We get these kids trained, educated. Not just stupid stuff, but really live educated to find out what they're good at and make them good at it. You know? There could be a 16-year-old come up with a flying car in four years. Come on! I believe that. 
but we'll never know if we don't spend the money on our kids. You know, like Dr. Phil and his seven million dollars. You know, you couldn't spread that out to all the schools, but if you could make like one school seven million dollars richer, and what they could do, and what they could teach, and who they could have there teaching, what kind of teachers money get paid. You know, they need to come out of high school with a master's degree. Kids aren't stupid. I was a kid. I wasn't stupid. I didn't get the best grades. But it's time we compromise. We're not right. None of us are right. Or the world would be a lot better place. You know, you got that crazy pedophile lady. From the man from the kitty island. I don't want to mention their names. Those names have power. Words. Words have power. Is that lady gonna suicide next week? Next year? Are we gonna find a massive? amount of the sickest richest men in the world is it going to happen is that crazy we know that stuff goes on but we just ignore it it happens it ain't right what can we do that's right we leave, we leave that kind of stuff up to the law enforcement and they have failed us they have failed us I don't think they're looking out for our best interest. I'm not a Black Lives Matters person. But they're not wrong. They're not right. <clears throat> but they got a plan. They got a playbook. And we need to cut them off before they start rolling just ignoring these people ain't gonna make it go away and there are our friends there are our kids I don't want to beat them they're not going to stop Need to meet him head on. Say, let's talk. Here's the things we can agree on. Let's fix these first. Here's the things we disagree on. Let's fix these other ones first. Too bad I can't transcript this for you. <laughs> but I had to, I wanted to talk. I wanted to, to keep me humble and remind.
remind me of my misgivings. Y'all see my face sometimes. Oh, I can't even look at myself in the mirror right now. But when this is all done, we'll make this a video with some other cool stuff. That's where we're going. But until then, we're just going to be in the podcast of things thought on Circle Drive. Coming to you live from the very tip top of Crawford Mountain. Don't forget to come poke the bear at French Panda dot com. And what else? I wanted to. Who is this other guy? Never can get his name right. I'm still here. Yeah, Michael Basham. Yes. Spirit Wars. Good Lord. Guy's name for some reason eludes in me. He's one of my favorite weirdos out there in Hawaii. Hawaii. Where we got Barry Sotero. Always wondered how a guy could get adopted and his name be Barry Sotero. And then one day he's Barack Hussein Obama. I'd like to see, did he get his name changed? Did he get his name changed? I couldn't find the answer. But they said his uh, stepdaddy adopted him. And that means he gets a birth certificate with Barry Sotero. And that's what the kids in high school in Hawaii called him. Barry. He's a pothead. Also heard he was a clone of Agnaton. But anyway, Barry got all this ball rolling. I mean, it was been pushed up a hill and got ready and sit there for a while for someone like Barry to push over the edge. I like to go back with like Clinton. Surely it happened before then. Before then. Oh my. Thank you for listening. You beautiful people. But what? How do we sit down and talk to them? Can we call the news and say hey can we get like a panel of different people to sit down and talk real live people different ends of the community what is it that they want it's like Mexicans trying to get into America I need more doors. We need more talking. I think it's time we sit down and talk with these people. They're not going to stop. And 
and they're just going to bait us until something else. But we sit down and make a doll out of them. <clears throat> you know. Are these adult people? That are out of work? Are they people in their mom and dad basement? You know, who are these people? I don't know. I didn't get to go to Seattle. I didn't hear good news come out of it. But hey. Whatever. But really, who are these people? Can we sit down with a panel of them? You know, we forgive them for some of those statues. But I know, if it weren't for all those different statues, the world would be different. Not that those statues did anything, but they marked a moment in time. Christopher Columbus, good or bad, he had his moment in time. And right now we're having a moment in time. I don't know if there's an individual out there that gets a statue, you know. But I was also thinking about uh, Mary de Blasio painting Black Lives Matter at Trump Tower. Now, I believe, I think, in my opinion, <clears throat> that was a hate crime. That dude was just pushing buttons. And that ain't right. You know? How do you sit down and talk to somebody like that? Bill de Blasio. Wilhelm, that's not even his real name also, he changed his name, like Barack, from Barry, oh Barry changed his, the Blasio changed his, it's all about words, words have power. You know, Wilhelm, instead of uh, de Blasio, well, that'd make him look a little uh, Aryan, wouldn't it? If he was rolling around with his real name, but no, he's Italian, which is a socialist, you know, Mussolini. Italy, Italy, but <clears throat> yeah, yeah, crazy, crazy world, crazy world we live in, so can we, can we meet, should we start calling our local media, I will, I'm going to do it right here, I'm going to call, uh, I don't know, Tampa or Clearwater, and ask them, maybe a radio, see what they do, I'm going to call them with my silly mouth, talk to them, uh, oh lord, it's, 
It's hard to feel good about yourself when you sound like a silly person. The Lord likes to keep me humble. This is a good way to do it. Just make me appreciate something. You know what I mean? I hope you made it this far. Cause I sure love you. Yeah, things do need to change. For sure. You know, I hear, you know, well, they don't kill this many blacks, and they don't kill that many whites, and they kill way too many of this, and not enough of that. Well, yeah, that's been going on forever, and uh, we've just been ignoring it. Not saying that sometimes it ain't justified. You know, I ain't shooting somebody in the back, even though it might be justified, ain't, ain't right. You never know who a real bad guy is. What if you let that one go? Does something horrible. And that's happened. It is. There's been a lot of policemen that let somebody go without being a dick. And those people went on to kill all kinds of people. Now, how they really, really been following policy, they would have never been let go. But we all make human errors, and people are really slick. Who knows if they didn't get paid off? I love the idea of the police force even though I'm not fond of my rear view mirror having lights in it but hey it is what it is I was probably doing something you know had a light out tail light you know I don't think that'll be pulling you over for tail lights maybe they flash you let you know. Holler at you. They got a microphone. Hey man, you got a tail light out back here. Get that shit fixed. Keep on rolling. Have a good night. But hey, what do I know? And these politicians. Man, they've been flim flamming. We know. We've heard about them all, what they did. The ones made money on the coronavirus. The other ones make money on their old stimulus package. That ain't right. No. That ain't for you. Not for you. Gotta be like, you know, the radio station. Even the people at the radio station ain't allowed to win all the prizes. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. But you know that. You know that. It's true. Dr. Phil really gets seven million dollars. He gonna make us feel good about him getting it. And he should have never, ever, ever got it. I can't give you an example of somebody that should have. But somebody should have, I'm sure. 
Maybe you needed it, but you ain't got it. You know what I mean? So, let's call for a meeting. Let's get some local dialogue going on. I don't know if the mayor needs to sit down with these people. Just regular people get together and then the regular people, you know, the both sides get together. Not politicians. People off the streets in the neighborhoods and then present it together to the mayor and the police and the politicians that's how we do this what do you think that's my idea we could do that I'm not telling you should but I would I'm going to You know, I've talked myself out of a lot of fights. And sometimes it's just seeing what the other person finds something we can agree on. And there's plenty we can agree on. Because they're not wrong. They ain't right. Neither are we. Neither are me. I like to think I got it all figured out, but sometimes, you know, you just sit down at the table with these people and we all get up, stand together and be like, hey, yeah, right here, we got this, this stuff right here, y'all need to work out. And then we'll do something with those statues. I don't look for statues. I like the idea of a Statue of Liberty. I'm sure some hateful somebody somewhere did something. But whatever, man. Can it just be pretty to look at? Can it just be pretty to look at? You know, but maybe those statues need to be moved to a different place and we can remember them as something else. The day we come to grips with something something we all knew but we're willing to ignore or not let it bother us and if you don't agree with me email me bentleycraig at yahoo.com I dare you. I'll give you a big old hug. Love to hear from you. I'm glad I'm back. But I'm also having a (laughs) difficult time doing this. And I'm glad you're here. And you can make out some of my words. And I just want to reiterate. We do need to talk with these people. Before we continue on down the path that we're going. I like to think of myself as pacifist. I like to believe that Jesus don't want me getting angry with people. <clears throat> Talking with people is okay. Don't be afraid to talk to people. There's some people you can't talk to, and that's okay. But once we sit down and we can't talk to them, well then, you know... Well, something else will have to happen. We just wake up another day in a new America. Maybe it was just like the one we just left. 
But we did. We woke up one day and everything changed. And I've talked about it in other podcasts. And here we are. A new day. Because this is not like it was. Christmas day. One day it was different. And here we are. But let's sit down and let's talk. And we could wake up another day in a brand new place. We could get along with our neighbors and our friends and our family. We could get along with people we don't understand. We don't have to be afraid of each other if we talk, if we sit down and talk. We need to be polite about it. We need to be adults about it. maybe think about calling your newspaper maybe posting something on Facebook saying hey I like to have two different views about blah blah how would you change police procedure how would you do that and keep the police force that we need. Don't be silly thinking we don't need the police. We're going to have neighborhood police. Guys that live in the neighborhood don't know anything about policing. Because police are trained to handle different things supposed to be firemen they all have different kinds of training for whacked out people me I, I haven't dealt with somebody whacked out on ice I'd probably have to shoot them but there's probably a different procedure for that person Somebody that's mentally ill, you know, they they scared the hell out of me if I was walking up and down the neighborhood protecting it. Would I just need to rub their belly? Or just go tackle them? I don't know. But our police need to know. And our politicians need to know that they can't keep doing what they're doing. Also. Because those people were the first ones up against the wall in the French Revolution. And the American Revolution had nothing on the French Revolution it was bloody heads rolled and once they got rid of everybody they need to get rid of they didn't stop no they kept on going but that was a bunch of pissed off poor people with a little bit of manipulation going on in the background you have to look all that up yourself but hey it was the poor people I don't know 
the Black Lives Matter and that other stuff mixed up with them is about being poor. Everybody I know is poor. Everybody I know could use more money. Everybody I know could use more money. And rich people, they want more money. But they never get rid of their money. Then they need to start spending it. We're a capitalist nation. It's about spending it, dumbasses. And they can take that money and spend it right into education. Every one of them. You wouldn't have to pay for education for anybody. These millionaires need to fork up the money to the kids. It's okay to be a millionaire. But let's take care of the kids. Yeah. That'll change the world. And it's okay to be a millionaire. God bless you. You're smart and you did something. Maybe I'll get me a new smile and I'll be a millionaire. <laughs> or at least a $8,000 smile. Oh yeah! What a world. And we can change it. We just need to sit down, talk to these people, treat them like people. And they need to treat us like people. And we are all people. And, you know, I know hateful when I see it. De Blasio painting Black Lives Matter in front of Trump's tower. Maybe it's a little funny, but that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That's sending the wrong message. You want to talk about dividing the country? That dude is wrong. Anybody says that's right, it's just wrong. Funny? Okay. Funny to talk about doing? Yes. Doing it? No. That dude is wrong. In my opinion. But that's what we need to change. And quit being so petty. That was petty. Petty, petty, petty. Just as petty as it comes. And, uh, he can suck it. Yeah. Suck it. But I still love you, de Blasio. Your Wilhelm. <laughs> Sounds a little Nazi, doesn't he? Wilhelm. Creepy. Well, I'm going to leave you with this thought. In my world, a world of God and Jesus, we live in a supernatural world with spirits and demons, a little devils. We got angels and the whole spirit. Spirit. Well, remember, I'm Bentley Craig, and I'm coming to you live from the very tip top of Crawford Mountain. And all the way up here, I get a different perspective. I get different ideas. I get completely crazy, crazy thoughts. Thanks for coming around. I appreciate it. You can get a hold of me at Bentley Craig at yahoo.com. 
don't forget to <laughs> poke the bear at frenchpanda.com check out sheep no more my friend Barry check out the guy Fox show John O. Machada check out what I was talking about check out and talk with these people let's get them started maybe write a letter to the editor call somebody I would I'm not telling you to I mean I'm kind of but I'm I'm not saying you have to that's a change we get a few of those people calling around They'll be like, hey man, they're calling from all over. Alright. I love you. And you're listening to the number one least listened to podcast in the universe. I'm Bentley Craig. And I'm coming to you live. From the very tip top of Crawford Mountain. Until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs>